So let's get a, a, if this is free uh, air, uh, empty air, so you have 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7. The current is 1.2 amps divided by 2 times the radius, 0 0.20 just to get a ballpark feeling for what is the strength of that. Calculate that. Teslas. By the way, oh, sometimes this is written in the units of Gauss. It's a, it's a different unit for magnetic field. One Tesla is uh, 10 to the fourth Gauss. So I guess it's convenient because then uh, the 10 to the 4th cancels with 10 to the minus 4. So it's 3.77 Gauss. That's the magnetic field strength of a coil of 100 turns with uh, 1.2 amps and uh, 20 centimeter radius. Let's compare that to the magnetic field of the Earth. Last week, remember, we used uh, the magnetic field of the Earth at the, L at the latitude of LA. The horizontal component of the magnetic field of the Earth around the, the latitude of LA. Right? The horizontal component of the Earth's magnetic field in LA. What was that in last week's lab? Two point five times ten to the minus five Teslas. Right? So if you just take the horizontal component which if you change to Gauss would be what? Uh, this time it'll be about a quarter Gauss, right? So now you kind of have a little bit of a feeling for the magnetic field strength. The magnetic field strength created by this coil is going to be bigger than the magnetic field of the Earth, the horizontal component, by a factor of, if you divide this two, you get a number roughly of the order of uh, something like 15 or something. So it's going to be 15 times stronger than the Earth's magnetic field. So you've created a pretty good magnetic field. The compass placed near it is definitely going to react to it. You see? And you will see this in tomorrow's lab. Okay?